a few minutes as I am on my way, making my way home. Um, so listen, hey, hello. I don't know who all is on because it's not showing me just yet. But what I do know is some of y'all are here. So hey, good evening uh, to everybody. Good evening, good morning, good afternoon, depending on where you are in the world, right? Uh, I can say that now because like I know people in all parts of the world. It's how cool is that, right? Anyways, so it's me, Tanya. Um, I am the CEO and founder of Savvy Credit Consultants. And I wanted to hop on here real quick because I wanted to talk to you guys about something that, um, you know, that I think is really, really interesting and really cool. Just some of my thoughts. So I call this particular um, live a taste of freedom. Y'all tell me if it's breaking up. Um, I'm calling it a taste of freedom because everybody doesn't get to experience freedom. So first of all, you know, there are a number of different types of freedom. Um, but I'm specifically talking about being able to kind of move how you... Oh, man. That was a to take but I'm gonna have to come back and call her back but anyways um, just kind of being able to move how you want to move when you want to move hey Ashley thanks for jumping on hey Ebony thanks for coming on um, being able to kind of move around like you want when you want y'all share this live and invite a couple of people in here with us cuz I want to tell y'all something that's like hopefully can, you know, have an effect on, on the rest of your day or your tomorrow or going forward. But anyways, um, a taste of freedom. So yeah, I got the opportunity to go to this um, conference, a business conference this past weekend. And it was really, really a good conference. Hey, Joe, thanks for coming on. It was really a good conference. Um, it was geared towards marketing, you know, and for those of you who don't know me, I'm a business owner. I own Savvy Credit Consultants, um, amongst other entities, but specifically that one is what I want to talk about. Um, so I got the chance to go to this business conference and it was in Las Vegas. Not to mention it was this past weekend, which was my birthday weekend, right? So I was feeling all kind of free. <laughs> like I'm here hey Kenya thanks for coming in I'm like hey I'm here you know I'm kind of moving how I want when I want doing what I want right um, so I said you know what I was sitting in my office today and I was kind of doing some work that needs to be done just recovering from being gone for you know almost a week and it dawned on me that a lot of people don't get the chance, the opportunity to leave where they are, are currently at. They don't get to move positions. They don't get to um, enjoy life, so to speak. They don't get to travel. And I'm from a small town. I mean, we have about, you know, when I was there, probably about three or 4,000 people. I don't know how many people are there now, but it can't be that much more. And I know I have a lot of friends who are from small cities and small towns throughout the US. Some of them who have never left their town or their city. And guys, let me tell you something. When you have never left home, it does something to your mindset. Like it really does something to the way you think and the way you function, right? The way you move, the way you make decisions. Um, hey, Nathan, thanks for coming in. So, you know, I was sitting thinking today, a lot of people can't even just go to Las Vegas. You know, a lot of people can't book a flight and go to Miami. Um, they can't even travel four hours from home. And, and to be honest with you guys, a lot of people are at home and they can't even just say, I'm going to go out to dinner tonight right 
um, this is something that I feel like it inhibits your freedom, right? It, it just kind of, it sucks to not be able to do what you want, um, when you want and how you want to do it. And it sucks even more when you are an adult, so to speak, right? You're out here adulting and you can't like move how you want to move. You essentially got to get permission from somebody or some I hope I didn't get cut off but if I did I'm back right somebody tried to call me on Facebook I'm gonna talk about that later too but anyways you essentially have to get permission you know from somebody or something on whether or not you can make simple decisions like if you're gonna go out to eat for dinner you know or if you got to stay home and cook if you're gonna take your family out you know and I as a woman I know this is something that is pretty hard for me as an adult woman so I can only imagine how grown men feel not being able to move around like they want to move around right and I want to link this particular thing that inhibits a lot of people to how we handle our finances how we handle our money um, decisions that we have made things that we have been taught you know growing up mindsets that we have just adapted that essentially kind of box us in and cage us in and keep us chained and shackled in our minds um, guys if you don't have freedom if you don't have just the ability to you know kind of do what you want to do if you have to wait and when I say wait I'm all for delayed you know self gratification I'm all for that but what I'm saying is you're waiting not because you're planning but because you simply can't do it and you can't even see how you're going to do it right you can't even see anywhere in the foreseeable future oh I'm going to buy this house or oh I'm going to buy that particular car that I want right if you have gotten accustomed to having to settle having to take what somebody gives you what other people say you can have having to live where people say you can live um, and it's nine times out of ten because of you know a number right it's because of a simple number really it's a simple number it's just a matter of training our minds and thinking and making better decisions right um, and this is something that I teach my clients when people come to me and they're talking to me I had a young lady um, that called me yesterday and we talked and um, you know she kind of shared some things with me and I shared some things about my history and my life with her and we just kind of got down to the fact of you know nobody wants to be in a position where they can't do what they want to do when they want to do it how they want to do it financially like nobody likes that feeling of being chained and shackled you know and at some point you have to say enough is enough like at some point you have to say um, I'm tired of living in lack I'm tired of having to be being forced to live in lack because you know I made poor decisions with my money and with my finances 15 years ago and so those decisions I made 15 years ago I'm still allowing them to follow me around and cling to me and inhibit me right so I want everybody to just do better like I just simply want everybody to be better I want everybody to be conscious of the decisions that you're making and when you're making those decisions I want you to be conscious of not only how it affects you but how it affects you know if you have children how it affects your children if you have family members that are dependent upon you how it affects those family members